Hi, this is Adam, and thank you for watching Sweet Reefing. Today, I am going to be visiting a new fish store out here in San Bernardino. I haven't posted in a little while because the next video, not this one, the next one you're going to see, had a good little twist. So, if you like this video, go ahead and check out the next video. It should be right there when I post it. And uh, let's go inside this fish store called Tropical Fish out here in San Bernardino and see what they got, see if there's anything I need. Let's go. So this is one of my favorite corals I saw there. Uh, it's a long tentacle uh, plate coral. I have a little bit out of my price range at 200 bucks, but it was really beautiful and it was nice to see one. Um, they had some fresh water. This brings me back to the beginning of me and the hobby. Neon Tetras were absolutely my favorite. Uh, these were labeled as scullies, but they look like trakes to me. Uh, some really nice LPS aquariums. Uh, high-end stuff. Uh, this is another one of the rainbow aquariums. I like just the aquascape plane, some good old African childus. And this is the frag tank right at the front. I wanted to get that bright orange plate coral. Uh, it's in my price range, but uh, I was feeling cheap at 80 bucks. And then, of course, you gotta have some big predator tanks. Uh, these were always what drew me in when I was a kid. And, uh, I'm still a sucker for them. Uh, love that big old zebra moray and sitting down there. They're just, I actually thought about putting one in my reef tank. Stingrays, if you ever have the opportunity to keep one, are one of the coolest personalities when it comes to fish. Big old Blumingi, he was cool, he was friendly. Unicorn, they get too big. Everybody else here is, uh, not my favorite, but there is my favorite mandarins. I've got one in my 150 and I'm thinking about putting one in the 300. Potter's Angel, another favorite. Anybody know what this uh, catfish is? It looks like it's in a saltwater tank, but I know most of the species that are in this tank could actually live in brackish water and don't recognize them. So, pretty cool vertical cylindrical tank, grab a fish. And, of course, my wife's favorite is the seahorses, and we had a seahorse tank for about a year and a half, and my wife would be jealous to see this and want to get uh, Rocky and Adrian back. And this is what most jellyfish I see do. They swim upside down. I don't ever want a jellyfish tank. Uh, the store did have a good supply of dry goods. If you're, that's what you're looking for that particular day, they can help you out with whatever you need. Thank you for watching this episode of Spinner Reefing. I've got a video here and a playlist. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.